हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर चेंज इंडिया मिशन शो फ्रेंड्स द एपिसोड विद विच आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन बिकॉज टूडे इन आर शो वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट मिस्टर क्रिश अग्रवाल ही इज अ वेरी यंग चैप हु हैज टेकन एन एको फ्रेंडली इनिशिएटिव विच हैज दार टू कर्व दी सोसाइटी इन अ वेरी पॉजिटिव वे येस यू हैव हर्ड इट राइट फ्रेंड्स वी कीप ऑन हेयरिंग अबाउट ऑन्टरप्रन्योरशिप एवरीवेयर इन एवरी नू कैन कॉर्नर बट वट डज दी वर्ड ऑन्टरप्रन्योरशिप ट्रूली मीन्स एट यंग एज this boy has done the full justice with the word entrepreneurship by taking this initiative of self pledge which has the power of curving the society in a very positive way so without doing much delay let's speak mr krish agarwal and we will be knowing in depth about self pledge so krish i really welcome you in our change india mission show and my heartiest congratulations to you on this taking this initiative of self pledge thank you so much welcome so krish today we are you know very excited to know about that what exactly solve pledge is all about we have been hearing everywhere solve pledge solve project so can you tell our audience that what exactly solve pledge is all about solve pledge is about solving the problems that the society is facing okay like today india is facing many problems like it is facing uh, poverty it is facing shoelessness it is facing lack of education it is facing lack of justice okay. so if we solve any of these problems it is it is a part of solve pledge okay you're trying to improve the nation okay and we're trying to solve the problems that it is facing the problems of the society or the national or the international level any problem which okay. is not self based okay so krish how this idea of solve pledge it's a very super idea that you have taken you know you are distributing so many things as we have seen so how this idea of solve pledge it came into your mind was it planned or like it happened all of a sudden no so i was doing internship under action shoes okay. in the csr branch okay so that is when i got to know that you know you have to do a 2% csr activity every year csr okay. is company So the social responsibility company social responsibility yes okay. so um so then i thought that maybe now that i'm working inside this uh, in inside this branch okay. i should i should do something which which is beneficial for the company okay and for the society so then i came up with the solve pledge okay so, um, so krish i mean uh, not exactly the solve pledge the solve project because it is particularly about the okay. shoes so is there any difference between the solve pledge and solve project are, are they two different things or it's like is club together and formed one as a solve pledge so let's yes they are different so solve pledge is a broader aspect whereas okay. the solve project which is, which currently is to tackle shoelessness in india right. it is it is a it is a part of the solve pledge now maybe later we guys are going to distribute old uniforms okay. to the needy or distribute other stuff that people donate to us okay. to the needy because people are ready to donate okay they only need the right platform and that is what we guys want to provide them we want them to have an emotional touch with the company and we want them to come and donate without hesitating so what currently the solve pledge is doing means currently you are involved you people are involved in which project So right now we guys are tackling shoelessness in India. Okay. So what I will do is, like, I mean, what I have been doing is, okay. I have been collecting shoes. Okay. From uh from people who want to donate them, maybe that maybe they're like worn out, maybe they're small. Okay. Maybe maybe they bought new ones. Yeah. Anything. So yeah. the shoes which are not being used, and what people do is they throw them. Exactly. So that's what I don't want. I want them to come. give me those shoes okay. and i'll make sure that those shoes are used in the right way it will be my responsibility to make sure that those shoes are not misused and the people who come and donate me those shoes they will also get a discount when they come and buy shoes from any action showroom so i mean this was beneficial for the company yeah this this helped the society correct and it joined an emotional touch to the customer so then you know once you are emotionally attached that even if even if the company is not going through its best phase exactly. maybe later action is not doing as well as as it is doing right now okay. but these customers who are emotionally attached yeah. will still come and buy our products so this so this is the reason why action actually accepted my offer and okay. i mean this was beneficial for the 
for the public as well. Plus all the staff members of Action, like all those people who are working under us, they got a further discount after den- after donating their shoes. So I mean, what we are trying to do is we are trying to help as many people as possible okay. and benefit the company. Okay, so uh, that's a very wonderful idea and what one with a very wonderful concept you have come up with, Krish. So, Krish, uh, like. Are you not facing challenges? How this collection of shoes and uh, the, the, dis- the distribution is going on? How this thing uh, is taking place? Um, well, I, I thought I would face like a lot of challenges while doing this. I thought that maybe I won't be able to do it. But then when I started doing this, yeah. I realized that people are really wanting to help. People in India are very, very generous. They, they really want to help like... Like there were so many people who yeah. contacted me. I mean, I never thought that so many people will contact me. Okay. I've collected like approximately 500, 600 shoes. That's wonderful, Krish. And now what I'm believing is that maybe I'll go to, actually I will go to Dehradun and um, then I will distribute the shoes over there. Like I'll go to a village okay. and then I'll distribute all these shoes or whatever, footwear. And okay. this is going to help the, this is going to help the villagers and this is going to help the people who are not exposed to exposed to shoes and like many people think that okay it's fine if they don't have shoes but it's not really good I mean for medical purposes as well you okay. have to wear shoes exactly you but it's so hot nowadays now if some global warming is at its peak if you are walking and it's very very hot it's not good for your feet and I mean it makes your life more comfortable and that's what I want to do I want to make sure that these rural areas are also being able to have access to footwear Okay, so how this like, you know, you have started this process. So like you are collecting people are they they are coming and they are donating the shoes, right? So what is now what is the process after the collection? How are you distributing? Do you have some plans or you have already started distributing? So tell us something about it. Um, No, I have not yet started distributing. First, what I believe is I'm going to collect all the shoes or as many shoes possible. And then since I study in Doon, which is a boarding school, I will go there and I will donate these shoes in a village where where the people are not able to have access to shoes because that happens in many places in Dehradun. Right. And so this is what my plan is. I, with the help of my school, I will go and I will donate these uh, these shoes, this footwear to the needy and hopefully make their life better. That's a very wonderful concept, Krish. So it's, you know, with this idea, I also personally feel that society will be helped at large, you know, and this will definitely going to eradicate the challenges which are, uh, you know, the people of our country is facing. So Krish... Uh, the, I have a lot of questions to ask and obviously I'm going to ask them as well so how like when you are doing the internship you were doing the internship so during that time and now what do you feel like is your how the action group is going to be benefited from this initiative yeah so as I said the customers get an emotional touch exactly. uh, with, with the with the shoes with the company okay. and then they believe that you know the person or the owner of the company is not someone who's doing this just to earn money exactly he he's a good hearted person and people really appreciate that okay. and that is what we want people to know that you know we guys are not just doing it for for the sake of it okay. we we really want to help you guys and we want to help ourselves and this is the best thing we have to offer. That's very great. So, Krish, is your school, because you are in the boarding school as you just mentioned, so at such a young age you have taken this initiative. So, like when you will be pushing back to your school, so who is, who is going to manage this project? Who is going to look after this, your initiative? So there are many people in, in the company action, right. in our factories, okay. who really support this program. They really work hard to make this to make this project happen work, like work properly. Yes, they want it to happen. They want it to become a success. They want to tackle shoelessness. I, I don't know, maybe maybe even they have faced something like that in their lives, but there are so many people who They're really They're supporting the startup, right? Yes, there are lots of people. And I know that they will give their best. I have got full faith in them that they will give their best. That's I will go to Dune and I will I will distribute these, uh, these shoes in villages. I will distribute this footwear wherever the needy needs it. So I will do my best. They will do their best. And I 
hope that this project becomes a success it's it's, it's a wonderful it's a very great uh, thing that you have uh, started so krish like i just wanted to know how are you how do you feel because earlier you must have had this concept in mind now these things are coming in the limelight and more and more people they are getting aware about this idea of self pledge so how are you feeling you know what what how do you feel after starting this project and when you are completely involved into like during your holidays and when you are here we have been seeing lot of camps are being organized so how do you feel like when you get good response from the people i feel blessed i, I feel great i mean i i feel as if i've done something and someone else is being so happy because of what i've done i feel as if i feel as if it's like one of the best things i've ever done in life it is actually helping someone else it is not Uh, it is not a thing which I'm doing for myself. It, I'm doing this for other people, society. and if other people are liking this, if the society is appreciating it, exactly. then it's it's really great, and I feel happy. You know, yeah. like I, I get a kick. Exactly, that's that's wonderful, Krish. It's uh, really it's great to hear that. So, Krish, uh, my another question is that. have you ever felt any kind of uh, peer pressure that you know generally today the parents they do have some expectations from their children that they have to go in this particular area and they have to be an officer or they want their kids to join some other department so have you ever felt any kind of peer pressure never Okay, they are supporting this startup. Yes, they have been supporting this from the very beginning. Okay, that's great. And what about your friends and your teachers? Is your school supporting it? Yes, I have received full support from everyone, and I'm really thankful to everyone for being so supportive, for being so cooperative. School for supporting me, or like they will be supporting me to distribute the shoes. I mean, I don't know if other schools would even do this. So I thank everyone in my life who has come and who has helped me. uh to make this project successful or to make this project successful in the future okay and how, what do you look forward now in the upcoming years of this project taking this project to heights how what what pers- what how what do you feel that how successful this venture would be in the upcoming days and what you look forward for this project well let's keep our fingers crossed i I mean, I hope I can tackle shoelessness maybe in a region or maybe in a city, That's a state, true. in the That's nation. True. I mean, if I end up doing it in the nation, I exactly. I'll actually consider myself like a champion. Exactly. Like whatever, I, it's it's like a really big thing which I'll be doing. But before I aim there, first I'm aiming at a particular village in Dehradun. Okay. Then maybe the whole of Dehradun, okay. or maybe another village before coming to that. Okay. Then maybe some more cities. Try to cover as much possible. Like I I want people to be aware. I don't want people to feel that oh shit I did not know about this. So Krish just one question I'm sorry I'm interrupting you in between but like since you are from Delhi right you have been born and brought up in Delhi and you are doing your schooling from Dehradun so what percentage you see or have you seen like what you say about the poverty level like in Delhi do you find people they are more shoeless in Delhi or in the Dehradun region what is your thought on this on this statement? um well you know you can't really say india as a nation is not is not i will not say it as a very rich nation i i will i will obviously say that yes its economy is increasing but exactly there is scope for a lot of improvement and as far as delhi and dehradun is concerned yeah. i am not very sure that is delhi more poor or is um but, but dehradun you, poorer okay. but I have decided to start with Dehradun because school. my school is over there and exactly. I know some villages where people are actually needy. So when I started going to Doon in class 7th, yeah. uh, I mean since the beginning I joined Doon, we had this rule that we had to do 24 hours of social service every term. Okay, so, so it started from your 7th standard. Yes. Only. Okay. So that is when I started going to different villages and then I know these villages and I know these villagers. I have got an emotional bond with them okay. and I really want to help them. and you know when i when i was starting solve like they they came in my mind and i'm like okay i'm going to make sure that i help you i really want to help you i will do what i can to help you and so that was that at one that 
scenario triggered your you know it, it came in that, my mind i mean okay. that picture that picture arises in my mind okay that came and that has led this the foundation of this pro, i know. mean yes it is i will not say it is the reason but yes it is one of the very major reasons exactly for taking this initiative yes that's great that's wonderful krish you have you know you know you are tackling these issues of our society and you really want to help the society not only the society but the country at large so that's a superb initiative and Thank i'm you. so pleased to know about it and our whole team is very happy to have you here in our show so krish uh, do you feel that there is a special mantra for being a successful entrepreneur well you know what i believe is that success comes from passion true you have to be passionate you have to enjoy what you're doing exactly you can't just be doing something for a greedy purpose like you can't just be doing business exactly. for money if you're doing business for money you might get money yes. but you might not be able to get that success you might not be able to reach that peak you might not be able to get that maximum efficiency exactly you might not be using your mind to the uh, you might not be getting the best output exactly so that only happens when you enjoy it and the more you enjoy it the more the outcome comes because that is when you are doing it wholeheartedly true very right? true so what i believe is we need passion and we need to do it together we have got great minds in india we have got we have got excellent people and if these minds come together we can do wonders we can do marvels yes we can take our nation on the path of development we, right yeah i mean i believe that if you guys work together and if you guys work sincerely with passion exactly we guys can be a competition to usa or maybe even go far beyond it that's true in in the coming years so what we just need to do is is work together exactly. and be passionate and do what we like not do what will give us money or what will or what will that's give true. us fame i mean exactly. okay you you get fame and all but if you do well in something you get fame and you do well in something when you have the passion to do well in it so that that's wonderful answer we have received from mr krish that the thief things are done with passion that gives a great outcome and it really keeps one it really keeps a person at peace so another question friends that we look forward is so krish my next question to you is that uh what message you want to give to the youth especially the uh, the one those who are of your age lying and in your age bracket so what message you want to give because generally what is seen that you are in class 11 standard right yes. so 11th and 12th basically what has been seen in the society that they remain stuck up in the career choices right so what is your message to them yeah so i would like to tell them that guys work together yes group work True. many of our teachers they tell us to do things together they tell us to make projects together they tell us to make charts together it is for one reason yeah the one reason is to learn how to do teamwork because they know that teamwork is very essential so many sports football hockey basketball they all are team sports because they want i mean they really help us to inculcate that that spirit of of teamwork to to support each other so this is what i would uh, like to tell them to guys work together and try not to get addicted like in this age like in this teenage age many kids like you know some are addicted to the phone exactly some are addicted to the tv exactly some are addicted to other 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 things such as alcohol and all which is not good so you have to avoid these addictions and you have to work together and that is when you will actually realize that your life has changed and you have reached a whole new level and you will get that inner peace that inner happiness to that inner outburst you know you you will live a very very happy life i mean that's what i have experienced and like this is what my experience tells me that's wonderful krish so i really it was lovely interacting with you and i really look forward and i really wish that your ventures goes at heights and my best wishes to solve pledge so thank you so very much for joining us in this episode so friends it was lovely interacting with mr krish agarwal and he is the live example present with us today that if one has a vision in his life if one keeps a vision in his life and if it is taken with compassion and with commitment then really one can do wonders in his or her life so today i'm signing off with dop mr surender singh and we'll catch back you in our next episode thank you so very much guys
हमारे साथ हैं अवनीश यादव हम इनसे पूछेंगे कि जो ये इतना बड़ा इनिशिएटिव एक्शन ने लिया है सॉल फ्लैच कृष अग्रवाल जिसके फाउंडर हैं तो इनके अवनीश जी के इस बारे में क्या विचार हैं मैं अपनी से अदम हो रहा हूँ मैं एक्शन शूज से मैं बहुत पहले से वर्किंग कर रहा हूँ यहाँ पे मुझे बहुत ही अच्छा अभी क्रिस अग्रवाल जी ने डिस्काउंट दिलाया है यहाँ पे जो मेरे पुराने जूते हैं वो मैं अपने यहाँ पे लेके आता हूँ और मुझे नए जूते के लिए मुझे यहाँ पे डिस्काउंट अच्छा सा अच्छा दिया जा रहा है और मुझे शोरूम का यहाँ से कूपन भी दे दिए हैं ताकि मैं अपने परिवार के लिए अपने के लिए पुराने जूते ले आके यहाँ दे दूँ और नए जूते मैं खरीद सकूँ बहुत 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 धन्यवाद जी अवनीश जी थैंक यू सो मच हमारे साथ है गौरव शर्मा जी हम गौरव शर्मा जी के विचार भी जानते हैं कि उनका इस सॉल्व प्लेज इनिशिएटिव को लेकर उनका क्या कहना है तो उस गौरव जी क्या आप हमें बताएंगे कि आपने कितने शूज़ डोनेट करे हैं अभी आप ये हमको पता चला है आप भी सॉल्व प्लेज से जुड़े हुए हैं तो आप कितने शूज़ अभी तक डोनेट कर चुके हैं और आपका इस बारे में क्या विचार है मैं टोटल तीन जोड़ी अभी शूज़ डोनेट कर चुका हूँ और मुझे अब प्राउड होने लगा है कि मैं एक एक्शन कंपनी में जो वर्क कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि वर्क करने के साथ साथ एक सोशल वर्क भी हो रहा है साथ में एक सामाजिक कार्य भी हो रहा है और ये मेरे साथ साथ और भी लोगों के लिए एक इंस्पिरेशन मैसेज है कि वो अपने घर में जो बच्चों के जूते हैं या फिर फैमिली मेम्बर्स के जूते हैं जो ख़राब हो जाते हैं उसके बाद या मतलब थोड़े बहुत भी डिफेक्टिव होते हैं और उन्हें फेंक देते हैं या किसी लालच में आके किसी को दे मतलब पैसों में दे देते हैं तो वो ना करके किसी गरीब के अगर पैरों में अगर वो जूते चले जाएं तो एक अच्छा काम होगा और हम अपने जो इंडिया को शू लेसनेस बना सकते हैं इस मिशन के थ्रू और मैंने टोटल अभी तक तीन जोड़ी जूते डोनेट किए हैं और पहले हम भी ऐसे ही करते थे कि हमें भी समझ में नहीं आता था कि अब जो ख़राब हो गए जूते उनका क्या किया जाए जी बिल्कुल तो उसको हम या तो प्लॉट में फेंक देते थे या तो फिर ऐसे ही पड़े रहते थे कबाड़ी वाले को दे दिए तो कुछ लोग होते हैं जो थोड़े बहुत लालच के चक्कर में जैसे कबाड़ी वाले से दस बीस रुपये मिल जाते थे उस चक्कर में अपने जूतों को दे देते पर वो ये नहीं जानते कि उनके ये जूते किसी के पैर में एक एक तरीके से उम्मीद हो सकती है जी तो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा कि मैं इस कंपनी से जुड़ा हूँ और कृष अग्रवाल जी ने काफ़ी अच्छा ये जो फाउंडेशन स्टार्ट किया है और हम हमेशा ऐसे ही अब डोनेट करते रहेंगे मुझे बहुत ही अच्छा लगा ये जानकारी थैंक यू सो मच गौरव जी बहुत अच्छा लगा आपसे बात करके वी हैव मिस्टर हितेश कौशिक विद अस फ्रॉम सॉल्व प्लेज लेट्स सी व्हाट आर हिज व्यूज ऑन दिस सॉल्व प्लेज आइडिया हुज को फाउंडर हुज फाउंडर इज मिस्टर क्रिश अग्रवाल सो हेलो हितेश जी हितेश जी व्हाट इज़ योर ओपिनियन वट डू यू फील कि ये जो सॉल्व प्लेज है हाउ इट कैन हेल्प दी सोसाइटी ऑल दो वी हर्ड कि दस दिस प्रोजेक्ट इट एम्स टू रेडिकेट दी शू लेसनेस एंड दी अदर यू नो दी poverty and there are so many problems that prevails in our society so what do you feel that how this idea can be a beneficial for the society uh, i feel so great to be a part of this social uh, social pledge project and and this will and it will really helps to uh, to the society to cure poverty and if we will uh, start this kind of uh, project in continually so it will really help to the society to get over it and uh, so agar abhi jaise abhi humne dekha last time also you have organized the camp and still like in the upcoming days you are planning to organize the camps so usme what do you feel audience ka kitna participation rehta hai are they really excited unke kya thoughts rehte hain aap unse milte hain you are collecting they are donating the shoes so उनके क्या विचार रहते हैं हाउ डू दे फील प्लीज बताएंगे आप हमको मैनी पीपल शोड देयर इंटरेस्ट इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड वंस इन माय लास्ट कैंप व्हेन आई वाज टेकिंग व्यूज फ्रॉम अदर्स अबाउट दिस प्रोजेक्ट सो दे वर दे ऑल वर सेइंग दैट दिस इज अ ग्रेट इनिशिएटिव एंड दे दे विल आल्सो जॉइन अस एंड दिस विल श्योरली हेल्प्स टू द सोसाइटी थैंक यू सो वेरी मच हितेश जी इट वाज नाइस टॉकिंग टू यू थैंक यू सो वेरी मच